Greetings and welcome back to XCOM Enemy Within and to our satellite uplinks, which will soon be getting a little brother. One day, actually. And in three days, we'll be getting some new soldiers. Now, before they arrive, now I think this counts only when they arrive. It doesn't need to be the case when you hire them. I could be wrong and we could be up for some disappointment, but the new guy perk, I think it only matters when they actually arrive in the base for their initial promotion. So we are actually going to try to sell some things to make the money we need for that. And thanks to the amount of alien alloys we have, that shouldn't be too hard. So let's just go ahead and get 70 ultra mega bucks worth of alien alloys sold. And then we will take ourselves down to zero. We will be officially broke, which is just as well considering Exalt tends to like stealing our money. There we go. Now, hopefully, when the 10 new soldiers arrive, we will actually get 10 new squaddies instead of 10 new recruits. But that is pretty much all we have to do at the moment, is just wait on that. So uh, let's see what the game has in store. Okay, 10 ultra mega bucks returned. Three more days still on the soldiers. And there we go. And Drakeware has returned to active duty, and we've only got one day on the satellite. But, uh, well, uh, no. No, I'm not going to get distracted. I know how long some of you have been waiting to try and get into the Let's Play. Let's go see if we've actually got squaddies. We do! Fantastic. That is awesome. Now, to check out... Oh. The lad and Campbell also get a promotion. Well, that's rather awesome. Okay, so perhaps it doesn't matter if they you have the perk when they arrive, only that they are a rookie... And then once you've got the puck there, oh, right, okay, well, that's uh, good to know. Let's check out Alan Campbell and see how he's improved, shall we? Uh, Aim 88, Will 42, so his will has gone up. That is fantastic. I'm not going to actually uh, give him his promotion yet. Stanislav Kozlov, let's see, what are your, hmm, 3566. You're a possible dud, I'm afraid, Stanislav. Emily Edwards, what a lovely name. 4564. Despite your lovely name, you have rather abysmal stats. I've got to be honest with you, Emily. It doesn't look good. Elizabeth Hernandez. 5457. Uh, again, not too good, even though you've got a nice name. Yvonne Penner. Once again, fairly low stats. My lord, we must have had some fantastic luck with our initial squad. Ivor Johansson. Okay, Ivor Johansson, you are not doing too badly there. Well done, you are a support. Alright, actually I'm going to go ahead and uh, give you your first rank up, just so I know that I've uh, confirmed that you are worth keeping. There we go. Uh, I'll do that same to Alan as well, just so that I know he's worth keeping. And he is a sniper as well, which is going to be quite useful. I sense that Johnny Ma is about to join our team. Jeff Edwards, or Joff Edwards. Heavy. What are you like? Uh, well, no, I'm not too fond of those stats, I'm afraid. Victor Kasev. I hope you you stay Victor, because that's an awesome name. 5173, yes, you will be staying. You're another support, though. Mm. Well, with training roulette, even supports can be incredibly deadly. They don't need to just be um, support medics. Uh, Kaji, uh, Khadija Haidar. I'm sorry if I've just butchered that name. I'm sure I have. 5771, okay, yeah, you will be staying as well. You're a heavy. There we go. And who else have we got? We've got two more. Yosef Samad. 36.65, yeah, I'm sorry, but no. My lord, we've wasted a lot of 15 Ultra Bucks. And Anna. Well, actually, you're not. Well, you're, you're towards 50 on Will, which is nice, but aim is still bad. Hmm. I don't know. There, there are a few people. We've only got three, well, four definites that we're going to be keeping here. Uh, I will... Consider at length 
whether I'm just going to dump some of the others. There are some that I will be getting rid of, but there are a couple who are maybes that I might keep around and just see if they if they blossom into something more deadly and awesome than they have started. Ugly ducklings that become laser beam equipped swans or something like that. But first, we are going to rename the four new crewmen. Uh, are they all crewmen? No, I think at least one of them was a crew woman. Now, I'm going to pause the recording here in order to consult with Chaotocles and find out who is going to be joining us. So I shall see you soon. And welcome back to what looks like Revocane David and uh, Brandy Bear all having a bit of a chit chat around the pool table. Looks like Revocane is telling them all the stories about how awesome he is and uh, actually it looks like yeah, Brandy Bear agrees. Well done, Brandy Bear. Now, I'm not going to keep you in suspense. That would be cruel. I have renamed the soldiers. And, in fact, I've renamed a few more than I intended to initially. I've also gone to the effort of getting rid of the ones that I really didn't think were ever going to become anything, simply because they didn't have stats high enough that I would ever want to use them. So, uh, they're helping Dr. Valen in her experiments. Air quotes around the word helping. But here you are. I'm not going to, like, reveal them one at a time, because that would just be too cruel. We've got Johnny Marr, Emily Shelab, Militant Kerbal, Iva Skaven, Jeff Balius, Urgel Burgel, Alana Eversong, what a lovely name, and Haika Unakaru. I will show you what they are like as well. We have got the sniper Johnny Marr. Now, all of the rest were picked by Chaotocles. Johnny Marr was picked by me. And the reason for this is simple. It's a bit of a tradition that Johnny Marr should be in my XCOM Let's Plays, and unfortunately also a tradition that he should die in them. Several times in the first XCOM Let's Play that I did. Yeah, not mine or his finest moment, really, when you think about it. So we're going to be trying to put right what once went wrong and actually have a Johnny Marr that survives to the end of an XCOM playthrough. And uh, as you can see, he's sporting a rather stylish, or perhaps a lazy, depending on the way you want to look at it, mohawk there. Ah, I don't know. The standards in the army have, have seem to have declined these uh, lately. That they can just have whatever hairstyle they want. I mean, I don't. Have we got a personal stylist on the base? Oh, maybe we do. I don't know. Perhaps I shouldn't begrudge him such uh, things, though. As long as that doesn't mess with his operations, you know. Can he put a helmet on that hair? I don't know. But Johnny Marr, the sniper, with 88 aim. That's actually pretty good for to start off with. Not such great will. We have also got Emily Shelab, the Assault, in purple armour. Oh, lovely. I will probably get rid of that shotgun. You've only got 64 aim, but 45 will. Eh, you know, it's not great, but it is going to... It's, it's certainly above my automatic uh, decline level, at least. We also have Militant Kerbal, another Assault. Let's check you out. In uh, green armour this time, and again with a shotgun arrow. will probably take off you. Only 4 HP. 54 will, though, and 57 aim. You're sort of middle of the road there. I'm hoping that you'll get lots of bonuses to your aim as you level up. We've got Ivor Skaven, a support, with uh, quite nice blue armour, actually, and a blue gun, even. Now, I I sat for a little while trying to work out how I could make you look like a Skaven. I even like picked a, a face that had beady little eyes, but then I realised that my options for changing how someone look are limited. Even within the, you know, the sort of rather limited options of keeping you looking human. So really, I wasn't ever going to get to the Skaven ideal. So you're just going to have to accept your beady little eyes and be happy with it. But you've got 81 aim, though. That's really good. And 48 will. That's equally okay. Well, it's not good. Really. But uh, next, we've got Jeff, who is a heavy. And you are also sporting green armour, but with a helmet this time. You've got a will of 44 and an aim of 66. Uh, could be better, but again, it's above the sort of entry threshold, and there's plenty of room for you to uh, level up. Next, we've got Urgel Burgle as support. And he is wearing a slightly different shade of green. I actually quite like that green. And that hair is just fantastic. I didn't actually do much to your, to your looks, really. You already looked rather awesome. I think I changed the... Uh, shade of uh, blonde of your hair because i mean you are basically ivan drago i look at you and i see ivan drago you even speak like a russian i'm fairly sure yes you do that's just i if i decide to make another mech 
you are going to be that mech, and yes, you will be punching things day and night, rain or shine. Well, maybe not in rain, because you'll be made of metal, but you know. Next, we've got Alana Eversong, a heavy. Now, I spent a bit of time trying to uh, fix up Alana's hair to look somewhat like Alana's hair looks in her uh, videos. But, alas, I could only find one setup that had shades. And, unfortunately, that included a hat, which meant that you shaved all your hair off in order to put it on. If I take your hair off, hat off, your hair grows back instantaneously. It's magic. But whilst you're wearing those shades, which you will always be wearing, because, I mean, come on, Alana and shades, again, it's like a tradition, as much of a tradition as Johnny Marr dying in my XCOM Let's Plays is. But you've got an aim of 71 and a will of 57, which is actually not too bad for a heavier aim of 71 to start with. And finally, we've got Haika Unakaru, a sniper, with an aim of 67 and a will of 49. Uh, kind of a, a snowy look to your armor there. I was go kind of going for the sniper wolf kind of thing, but uh, yeah, just without the drama and the uh, crazy sub love plot in the middle of a war. Or at least I hope. Right, now then, we have got one day on four satellites. Oh, we're so close to being able to finish my satellite coverage. I am very excited. Oh my lord, we've got 22 ultra mega bucks back as well. Bonus. Okay, uh, yes, we best not waste any time. Now, the trick with satellites is that from the point that you tell them to be launched, they're not actually operational. And the countries where they're not operational yet are still possible to be selected for um, abduction missions. So we do kind of want to launch them sooner rather than later. Now, there are two countries that are automatics for us. We, that is Nigeria, because it's panicking to bring that panic down. We will uh, reduce that We will gain an extra engineer and an extra 100 ultra mega bucks and the all-in bonus, which means that overall our monthly funding for, for X1 will go up by 30%, which is fantastic. There we go. Next, we have Brazil. Only 80 ultra mega bucks from Brazil, but again, another engineer, and we have ways. I still feel that that, <laughs> that can't be politically correct to insinuate that sort of thing. But uh, anyway, I'm not going to complain because I actually do want that ability. But there we go. We now have we have ways. Autopsies and interrogations are completed instantly. Now, I've got two more satellites, and I've got a couple of places I could put them, but I fancy I'm going to place it over Canada. As much as it makes sense to kind of leave these open because they can afford to not be visited. I I would rather kind of have it happen in Europe rather than, than, than Canada because a lot of the countries in Europe I can still get to. But having said that, I'm going to launch a satellite in Europe as well. But ultimately, I can get the um, continent bonus from launching this one satellite there. That's 100 extra megabucks and a hundred, uh, sorry, a hundred scientists, one extra scientist and the air and space perk, which means that aircraft and aircraft weapons cost 50% less to purchase, build and maintain, which is fantastic for us. I actually didn't notice that it was aircraft weapons as well. That's really good. Now, the next place we're going to launch it is going to be Russia, not India. Um, I have mentioned how I intend to use my home continent to farm abduction sites. Now, if you only have one, because I've got enough satellites on the build, at least, to cover everywhere but one country. Now, if you've only got one country, you will not get any more abduction sites. You need at least two. There has to be a choice for it to trigger. So we're going to be leaving India and Australia uncovered. So this one is going to go to Russia. Uh, wow, 150 ultra megabucks. And an extra scientist. Fantastic. So there we go. We have launched all of our satellites that we care to launch at the moment, and that has brought us up to 1,284 ultra mega bucks. Oh, that's fantastic, because it's not actually far away. It's only 13 days away. Oh, I can't wait. Right, three days on the next three satellites, and we'll have one spare then as well. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, really? Really, United States? Exelt has sabotaged us and drained 32 of our ultra super mega bucks? That's just not right. All right. COVID operations, I suppose. I, I actually quite like going on COVID operations. Now, I did say I was going to send one of our agents with mimetic skin on the next COVID operation. But the thing with COVID operations is the actual COVID agent you send gets bonus experience for taking part in that mission. So, with that in mind, as 
Evelyn doesn't need any more experience. She's at her maximum level. It is going to be Lalith that we send, but I need a laser pistol. So we're going to take the laser pistol off the previous COVID agent, as well as your nanofiber vest. And I am going to send Lalith along. There we go. Right, you can take your laser pistol. You don't need the arc thrower. Um, I could send an extra... No. The thing with the grenades is... Typically, I, I use them with uh, a memetic skin-equipped soldier to kind of get the first strike ability and ideally kill things. But typically, from what I've seen, the um, exile troops have too much health for a grenade to take them out in one go. And I wouldn't want to expose her. So I'll give her the nanofiber vest. That should give her a little bit of extra health as well. Okay, then. So that is it. Good luck, Lalith. Enjoy your stay in America. Try not to get distracted by Disneyland or anything like that, please, if you could. Heavily armed military force seen converging on the site of reported UFO landing in Argentina. Indeed. Okay, we've got three satellites in oh, one day. Oh, getting close now. Haha, <laughs> there we are. 16 ultra mega bucks are ours. And also... The last satellites we are going to launch. United Kingdom for an extra scientist. We'll get you launched there. And Germany for an extra scientist. And 100 ultra mega bucks. And bonus expert knowledge, which I believe is laboratories and workshops cost 50% less. Oh, and to maintain. Fantastic. Okay, that is it. That's all the satellites we're ever going to launch. Now, as I mentioned, abduction sites are selected before like a couple of days before the abduction mission happens. And if your satellites aren't active over that area at that time, then a country can still be picked. Even if you've launched a satellite there, but it just hasn't come online. So there's no guarantee we won't see, oh, you know, we could even have one happen in Nigeria, which would be terribly bad. But uh, there's no guarantee that we won't see a couple of places still get hit. But uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, it doesn't go too badly for us. Now then, with all that said and done, how long until those... Oh, damn it. It's going to take them a while. Got a satellite over Russia and Nigeria only going to take two days. Then Canada and Brazil only uh, are going to take three. Really? Why is Brazil and Nigeria? They should be on the same day. Uh, that's a bit ru rubbish, really. But okay. Laboratory in one day, and that's going to be nice. Oh my goodness, it's quite large. There we go. This, I assume, is my laboratory. And that was me drinking tea. I hope it wasn't too loud. Okay, workshop rebate at uh, 12 ultra megabucks. I approve. Now, how has that affected my research? Uh, it's still six days. Oh, well. All right, okay then. Let us scan for more activity. And hopefully the satellites become active. Oh. Oh dear. <laughs> okay. Looks like we have uh, the aliens are terrorizing Delhi. Well, damn. Naturally, we are going to have to send the Sky Ranger. Okay, well, at least we've got one of our memetic skin troops. Uh, yeah, well, no, we're not going to take the. We're not going to go there with a mind to try and recover live aliens. Instead, I would probably like getting you another scope. So I'm going to quickly go and do that. Um, no, I don't think we should take any of our rookies out on this mission, honestly. I may take Sergeant Samsara, but I don't think bringing... Yeah, I'm, as much as I would like to train up some of the rookies we've got, I think that would be a bad move right now. Um... No, I'm going to clear you, and I'm going to bring along Brandy Bear. Where are you, Brandy Bear? There we go. <laughs> Even right at the back, you still tower over everyone. That's fantastic, except for Reva King. Well, actually, no. Uh, Powell is also a little bit taller than you, but, you know, perspective. But this looks like the, the team that will be taken. I will get a scope for Evelyn, though. I want her to have as good an aim as she possibly can. Even if she is going to largely spend her time as a scout, it's worth giving her the option of shooting. So we'll take that. Thank you very much. There we go. Are there any foundry projects for me? Uh, improved pistol. Sco oh, scope upgrade, actually. Portable targeting module scope. Um, 
I might actually want that. I think we've already got that and improved pistol one. Um, you know what? Before we go, I'm just going to sell some stuff on the green market and pick up all of that stuff there. So uh, we're going to need about 70 ultra mega bucks, I think. Additional, that is. There we go. Let's take that and go back and see if we've got enough to buy everything I wanted. First, we want a scope. Oh, only 11. That's not bad, actually. The price has come down a lot. And then scope upgrade. There we go. And then improved pistol. Oh, I actually only needed 68. Right. What does this one do? Utilize the latest press. Odds of our soldiers scoring a critical. Okay, well, you know, that's going to give our pistols criticals, which is always quite nice. Right. Okay, well. Well, you know. They've got to earn their tea rations. All right, back to Mission Control, I feel. Alien terror attack in Delhi. Okay, so, Colonel Frost, you shall be given a scope. There we go. Oh, we've got two now, do we? Okay, fair enough. But that is going to bring us up to 116 aim, and I believe you're still um, clocking up upgrades to your Oculus Star medal as well. I don't think you've been on 10 missions since getting that, so uh, that's actually helping quite a lot so this team actually has quite a good aim between them all I am looking forward to this though hmm actually I am going to take your med kit off sorry about this but uh, I believe you got an 82 plus 10 oh actually I also require your rifle there we go and we'll clear that unit. I don't need to take the scope off because we've got an extra one. Where is Drag? I think Drag has actually got a better aim. Yeah, much better aim. In fact, I didn't. You already had a scope there. We've got loads of scopes across this team. I, I approve. In fact, you also had a, a plasma a laser weapon. My lord, I need to keep better track of these things. Okay, so this is our team that we are going to be sending to Delhi to deal with the panic mission there. We have got Major Cerberus Ice Johnson, Colonel Evelyn Android Frost, Colonel Bartholomew Strobe Revocane, Captain Drag Fastlane Wirth, and Sergeant Alice Emo Samsara, and finally Lieutenant Brandy Freya Bear. I think they are going to make a fantastic well, I was going to say they were going to make a fantastic mess of the aliens, but uh, there's, they're, they're going to be chrysalids there. They're already messed up enough as it is. But uh, I, I'm going to leave you in suspense because it is coming up to that wrapping up point. So I'm going to leave you with a shot of the crew that we are going to be launching into the panic mission in the very next episode. But until then, do take care. <laughs>